Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the NECA quarter scale figure of Leonardo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. This figure is ginormous. The packaging actually is so big I can't even fit into frame without moving the camera really far back. But we're going to unbox this sucker now. This figure is outstanding. It's radical. It's totally tubular. Sorry, my 90s are showing, but I just gotta say it because this figure is amazing. I think the quarter scale Ninja Turtles figures that NECA has been making are easily some of the best things, if not the best things they've ever made. Um, the sculpt here on the, on the, the basic turtle body, which they kind of use for all four of the characters, aside from some different outfit accessory pieces and stuff, and the different heads, some different paint, but the actual sculpt of the bodies appear to be the same. Uh, the front shell looks good, the sculpt of the musculature on the legs, the little wrinkling on the, the feet and on the toes looks good, uh, the sculpt on the knee pads, but where this thing really, really rocks, where it really succeeds to me, is the paint job. You just see it in the shading of the biceps, of the different colors of brown, on the elbow pads, on like the leather of the belt, on the knee pads. Uh, there's some spotting all along like the head and shoulders. Uh, some good use of like lighter brown, kind of highlighting the, the, the dark wrinkly spots of the figure. Um, but between like the muscle tone, both in sculpt and in paint, and just like the sculpt of the veins, and just the fact that it's not a smooth surface, that you can see those little tiny dots, that there is like a, uh, you know, kind of a, a reptilian surface that's not totally smooth, is really great. Let me give you a look at the uh, back of the figure, just so you can see the shell. This is a close-up look at the shell, and the scabbards on the back. Uh, the shell looks great, good use of paint on that. Um, I'll give you a closer look at the swords in a moment, we'll take those out uh, when we look at the accessories, but I just want you guys to really appreciate the, uh, the, the detail that went into the paint, even just like the side of his shell right there, the sort of like off yellow kind of green grime, uh, you can just see more like the veins and stuff in the, in the, the biceps there. But let's look at this head. One of the things that I really like that, that the Jim Henson Company did with the Ninja Turtles movie was they gave all four of them different head shapes. Whereas in the cartoons, they all kind of look the same. In the movie, they have totally different heads and they totally captured Leo's head here. Uh, his mouth line, the way his uh, cheek kind of wrinkles right there, the, the sculpt of his brow underneath the mask. This is a great, great likeness of Leo uh, and a great, great way to honor such a great design from, in my opinion, a pretty awesome kids movie from the 90s. Uh, I like that the mask has its own kind of dirty wash to it, so it's not just perfectly clean blue. I normally don't like cloth on figures, but I think the the cloth... Oh, I still left that little... That's that's embarrassing. I left this little uh, string around the neck. Let's remove that now. Uh, the cloth knot and the, uh, the little... The little... Uh, pieces of the bandana hanging down in the back really read well. They don't read uh, too contrasty with the rest of it. And I'm glad it's not just like a rubber sculpted thing that they can't move or anything. Man, I can't get over this face sculpt. Outstanding. And the fact that the eyes are kind of glassy, really, really fun bonus effect. Now let's look at some of the accessories because this figure does come with some fun stuff. It comes with six alternate hands, including uh, we've got these grip hands the standard grip fist for holding the swords. That makes sense. We've got these sort of relaxed palm hands, including one that's kind of pointing, kind of gripping. I think they could be used for gripping pizza. Uh, then we've got this open palm right hand and this totally pointing left hand. So that one's definitely a point. Uh, and then we get one slice of pizza because, duh, Ninja Turtles and pizza. Here's a closer look at that. Um, you got sausage, green peppers, olives. Pretty good sculpted, pretty solid paint. And then we have the classic TCRI canister. It was definitely TCRI in the first movie, so I'm glad they included that on the uh, artwork on the back there. So that's really nice. This is a really fun looking accessory, so I think it's cool that NECA included this. And it's got its own little kind of, you know, detailed writing on the back, really small or at least kind of small for this accessory, but this is fun. This is cool. I'm glad they included it. Also, Here's a look at the sword. Um, it's got a really, really good sculpt to it. The, the, the grip on the side uh, has that nice kind of like leathery wrap to it. There's little nails or like rivets on the side there. And the, uh, the actual blade 
has a it's like silver paint with a little bit of brown to highlight little elements on it. So that's pretty nifty. I find it odd that this figure comes with grip hands when it already has grip hands already on the figure. And they're the exact same ones, so I'm wondering what's the deal with that? Did I just get like a weird one? Uh, was I not supposed to get two sets of identical grip hands? I don't know. But in any case, this figure looks freaking awesome. The elbow joints are a little stiff and I'm finding my shoulder joints are pretty tight. But still, once I uh, loosen them up a bit, uh, this figure looks awesome on the tabletop. Um, he has a tendency to want to lean forward, so I'm having to push him back on the ankles a bit. But uh, aside from like tight shoulders and kind of tight elbows, his posability is pretty good. I just I'm gonna have to work to get his right shoulder to kind of come outward a little bit. But even at this minimal kind of pose right here, he looks freaking awesome. I like Leo a lot. I especially like Leo and Raph's relationship in the Ninja Turtles movie. So I find him to be, even though he's kind of a boring leader character, a kind of dynamic, boring leader character. And I'm really glad to have this figure from NECA. Like I've said, it's outstanding. Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you want, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff. Oh yeah, one little thing I forgot to mention. This canister also has writing on the sides of it, not just on the front, but on the sides. So that's a nice little bonus detail. Another extra fun detail is it does open up. It's empty inside, but still, it can open up, so that's fun. Okay, now I'm done.